Welcome back to Minecraft, this mostly vanilla realm, Tree 9, and I'm catching up with the Nether update. I'm having a wonderful time here. Now, I've we've got a jungle spawn, and this is my spawn house, which is, as you know, a tree house, or as you can see, hello Java, every time I switch on that thing comes up. Right. I'm leaving a gap there because I'm going to bridge across to here and I had a bit of a sort of thought process about this deck but I've actually put two lines of spruce around the outside and I've kept the oak in the middle. I'm still building on the roofs which is why we've got this temporary staircase here. I decided to support the roof with acacia and I've got the acacia trap doors around the edge of course they make wonderful railings but on the corner you always have a problem um we'll just leave that for the time being and i might have to think of some other solution to that it's a real shame but that's that's the logical way it goes because you're going to have one trap door on a square but they do make wonderful railings i don't want to move the support to there which would be the obvious I rather like the set back approach but if I find I can't live with that that might be the answer so this is a work in progress it the basic shape of this part is now together um, I've been growing large trees and that tree where my cursor is is a new addition I've managed to grow that up so we're growing trees in the direction I want to curve this build around the bay and I might go back a little bit as well so this is all coming along nicely we've got some basic storage up here now I started watching uh, Minecraft and I started following John Paul uh, not John uh, Paul Sauls Jr that's right and he joined Mindcrack and that's how I discovered Doc M 77 and if you remember his world tour, he built Fibonacci curves between a massive tree and a cliff edge. Now this is, I mean, his was, you know, almost like from that tree to that tree. So it was a massive, beautiful curved bridge. Mine is rather a short one, but nonetheless, I have built this as a Fibonacci curve. And then also in the middle of his, he built a sort of floating, you would call it a gondola. It's, it's like a floating, I don't know, small shed really. <laughs> That's an understatement as to what it is. Uh, but he grew bonsai trees there. So this is a homage to Doc M77 and his world tour. I think it was world tour number two, where he built this type of thing and I've always wanted to build one and this is my opportunity and this is going to be a bonsai now I need a blue tree these are all trees of course that's a fern <laughs> it's not a tree but I've got most of the trees here but we've got the blue tree and we've got a couple of others that will actually substitute in here now round here I have my own enchanting setup, which is very useful to have. It's a full enchanting setup and I have done something a bit fancier with the roof, which I like. I'm not entirely sure that it's phantom proof. I have a feeling they might fit in here, but we need to look at that. Uh, that's something to be learnt. There's a lot of learning uh, now we've got this uh, new update and back here I have the um, anvil so I've got an anvil there and they always go well together having the two together so that's as far as I've got with the tree house um, this is just pure indulgence on my part other people are building very very sensible mob farms and I'm building floating gondolas for bonsai trees it's about average for what I do let's just quickly sleep the one we've made one or two amendments to vanilla and because there's a load of us playing on this realm we've got the one sleep all sleep so carrying on let's come down here uh, you know I've got under here 
what I call a passive mob trap, which is superb. So every time I run across there, the mobs generate under here. And as I run to and fro, they follow me across the floor and they fall down the hole in the middle and die and give me mob drops. And it's proving endlessly useful. I'm trying not to affect the jungle too much. A little bit of clearance has been done. Coming down here, I have built a fishing shack. And again, a little bit of work in progress, but I don't build to set designs. I just build as I feel like with the land. I've altered this path to make it a little bit better. And up here, there we go. This is my fishing shack. It needs a little more detailing, a little bit more support here. It's a little bit basic at the moment. A few steps would help this area a lot. I'm not using glass very much, actually. Um, it's early in the game, we don't have glass. I am loving this. Um, I like the look of it. It is very unicolour. I'm contemplating whether the spruce or even part of the spruce could be changed for acacia or whether that, that would be too garish for a fishing shack. Fishing shacks tend to look old. Also, as well as some steps supporting things, I think that I would very much like to put a few cobwebs in the top. They seem to go well. And I stand here looking over to MJ's place over there and I fish in the evening. And it really is extremely, extremely nice sitting there fishing. This is my reed farm. And then I grow my trees here. So this is a this is my wood farm. It's not a very big one, but it's sufficient for my needs at the moment. So coming on through here. I've got little farms here which are keeping me fed. I have bamboo growing and I think a little bit more bamboo around the place would be good. I'm getting it to the point where I need a bit more detail. And through here, uh, you can see that I've started to detail it a bit with a little bit of, you know, stonework and things like that. But I'm not going to even try to put a storage system in a treehouse. I think it's just not going to work. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up a very basic storage stone here. Storage stone. I'm reading the stone from the cobblestone. Storage system here for my stone. Cobblestone, granite, andesite, diorite, gravel, earth, smooth stone. And those are, that's just the start. We're obviously going to have lots of other chests there. I have a fishing chest three nautilus shells already. I have a nether chest and this is warped nylium. I've actually managed to get some magma blocks and some nether quartz. This one is just wooden products and this chest is random actually. It's one of those chests you need. I now have this wonderful stone cutter which is giving me this uh, you know, these stone blocks, which is just great. Um, mining is progressing down there. I have a very basic but unbelievably useful automatic smelter where I'm doing things like glass. Now, coming through again, I loved the idea of having a tunnel where you can see through the hillside. So what I have done is I have dug a tunnel through and there will be lily pads going across here. I don't want to build a permanent structure across the bay, but I'm thinking of taking out this first line or putting another line of sand here. I think another line of sand might be better. And then I've dug all the way through so that from here, as you approach the building, you see through into what will be a gorgeous jungle area. I made a bit of a mistake here and I cut down too many trees, uh, but I will be regrowing jungle trees here and I will have jungle plants and it's going to be a lush green look. And as you look the other way, you see through to the sea view. So I've got some chickens down here. <laughs> and then up here, 
I've headed back a little bit because I wanted to see what was at the back basically and we come into a very very nice area a another lush area here uh, this is BU4U's boat which I've pinched from her she's just around the corner over there but we're not impinging on each other and this is a very nice area that sort of leads backward quite easily so that's sort of being appropriated by me as well I am again slightly contemplating whether to um, oops whether to, to flatten this a bit but I think possibly not I want to take too much of the earth away so that tunnel leads through here now this is where I've been mining down and inevitably I have come to a big ravine and I need to go and clear out this ravine but it was at the end of a long hard day and ah oh, don't fall clearing ravines is definitely something you want to do when you're feeling fresh and up to the task and the ravine curves round to here and goes along here so that's going to be quite fun to clear that out I shall enjoy doing that I don't think there's a huge amount down there but I would like to get it lit up and then there's another cave over there and up there we actually hit daylight so we're going to get the most wonderful vines coming down here and I'm slightly thinking of maybe making the jungle go down into here all these wonderful plans you have when you start to see the terrain you've got to build with so that was a uh, not a surprise but it was another interesting feature of this build is that we do have a ravine there that's open to the top this is where I've been mining out stuff okay so coming through again I've dug a little passageway through here because this gives me easy access from the back to my storage if I want to store stuff then we'll just pop down and see how the mob farm is doing whoa here we go and through here we have a mob farm I've killed quite a few endermen down here so I've got another ender pearl and as you can see you know we're just gradually see the seven bones there 53 gunpowder seven arrows and a grass block from one of the endermen so slowly but surely this is building up i've got chests here in case i get enough to store it rather optimistically there i think but that's all building up nicely and the more i run around here the better it gets i'm taking a rather unusual stance on mining and that is that I've decided to mine deeper than usual in that normally I mine at 11 to avoid the lava but I'm mining down here at level 6 now I was able to buy some fantastic uh, mending books and a silk touch book and a fortune three and I bought them all from Benai who's got a, a villager set up because he wanted diorite and my mines are looking like Swiss cheese because I've been digging out all the diorite so I've got the most dug out mines I've ever had actually you can see this bit where I put down a diorite path <coughs> it was before I knew Ben I wanted diorite and of course we have you know some smelting and chests full of cobble and you know, just extra chests and stuff as you would always have in a mine so that's coming along down there but mining at six has been very interesting there's a skeleton somewhere here oh I know why because this is the route to the mine shaft and I've Came, yes we and I'm sure I've got a spider spawner very close there so I'm extremely careful what I'm mining I have to get in and clear out those spider spawners because I don't want them 
Right, coming along here, let's come up again, generate some more mobs for us, and I'm going to go and quickly sleep. There's two other people on the server with me, uh, but neither of them, I think, are... What's that, sir? It's a witch. I have a witch under here. Oh my goodness. I've got a witch that's spawned. Goodness me. Uh, witches are quite rare in these sort of spawners, well, in the spawners I have, but they do arrive. Let's just quickly sleep because I want to show you some more. I decided to do a whole summary video. Right, let's carry on. Go okay, down again, try and get the witch to follow us and fall through the hole in the floor. Come on, follow me across. <laughs> now, round here, and you can see how nice that fishing shack looks. It fits in very well over there, I think. And I thought it might be too high when I built it, but with the height of the jungle trees, I think a smaller one would have looked a bit pathetic. Now, I want, I've want i bridged across here. This is a false bridge. And I have changed this to nylon. And I found out, it says on the wiki, that you can mine nylon or nilium with any sort of axe. That is not true. Or any sort of pick. That is not true. You, I've mined it with a silk touch. And I brought it back here and I covered the bridge with netherrack and then I I bone mealed it with the bone meal I've got from my mob traps. And I brought back one of the seeds of this fungus that I planted there. And when I hit it with bone meal, I was absolutely staggered because immediately this gorgeous, gorgeous fungus grew and it came it grew with the lights, so these can be grown again and again. And it came with these beautiful red uh, crimson vines that grow down. And I think this looks just glorious. I've edged the bridge in netherrack because it goes very well with it. And I think that as a, a bridge that's false anyway, it's not part of a landscape, I just love that. It's a real sort of standout feature. And then I put more bone meal on and grew these crimson plants. So I'm gradually spreading this round here. And I've changed the stone bricks around to the netherrack. And I think that, yeah, that's a good size there. It looks right, doesn't it, guys? It looks right. Okay, now going through into the nether, I've been building there. Now, this is where MJ's portal is going to come out. So he's going to be right next to me. I've been building the outside of my portal. I think it <laughs> that's the tunnel to the end <laughs> I'm not sure whether I've overdone it whether it looks a bit garish I'm not sure I like it I think the thing is that from a distance you know if you're looking to see where I am we all have colours we all have different colours we all pick different colours mine is dark blue and you can see that that's me Ashanti because that's the dark blue We've got a bizarre district now that I haven't been to yet. And I've moved the pathway and extended it slightly. But I'm not sure about this yet. It is one of these things you build it and you think, well, do I like it or not? I have extended the Nylium in here because I'm loving this sort of cheerful red colour. I was building out here looking for somewhere to put a piglin farm and as I went this way I found myself over a crevasse now 
I love the nether and I just thought how nice to have a window onto the nether and it looks like somebody's passageway is going to go across there so I'm enjoying that and I I have this place shut off a bit hello and then I went up here and I was digging back here and found myself in another crevasse so we've got another window into the void and then I had an amazing stroke of luck because I was setting up a farm for piglins and I was setting it up here. You can see that my piglin is actually here. Mm -hmm. um, but he's really quite something. And I tunneled down because I wanted to go down here uh, and see what was going on. And there's another crevasse there. So I've tunneled. I was tunnelling down, not realising there was already a tunnel down, of course, from the other part of the nether that someone else had built. So I built my own tunnel down and came out here. And guys, look at it. Hello. It's absolutely fantastic. And I, I love the nether, as you know. Um, unfortunately, we haven't got anything like a another fortress down there but we've got massive lakes huge ravines this is this is me going down um wonderful wonderful aspect i haven't been across there yet um, i was more concerned about getting some uh, blocks down so that i wouldn't get my path blasted out of existence there were a lot of ghasts when i came down here so I'm down into the nether, I'm down there with the the pigmen who are keep coming up here, which is fine by me, I don't mind, you want to wander up here, because this had a huge benefit to me. Um, I had actually got left the door, I hadn't got a door even, and as I'd secured this area all the way around with this gate, and then up here... I tried to attract a piglin by putting little nuggets of gold in front of him and I don't think there was enough gold in the world and look he wandered up he suddenly appeared up here so I blocked this off and I managed to trap him mm -hmm. and I've got a piglin farm going now I've I've copied that uh, and I'm going to put the link down below to a very very good uh, piglin farm video so I'll put it in the description to this video but what I'm getting already just from a bit of gold is he you throw gold blocks at him and he will give you gold stone dust our nuggets obsidian crying obsidian how beautiful is that soul sand nether brick fire charges string nether quartz leather 41 leather Soul Speed 2, look at that, and Far Resistance Potion. I mean, this guy is a treasure trove. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's fabulous. Um, there's all sorts of tunnels back there because it's early days yet, guys, early days. So, let's go back through. I'm looking for somewhere to put a blue nilium sort of tree and I haven't found somewhere yet this bay is starting to look better and better I've dug the river through between myself and Kendi uh, it's a little bit difficult at one place because when but when I was digging down I realized that what was underneath me was actually the ravine so this goes across the ravine oh Kendi Look, oh, you star, look at this, that's beautiful. I'm sure Kendi's done that, thank you so much. She's just a lovely person to have as a neighbour. And also MJ and I work well together too, we've been neighbours before. And he's very careful about saying, do you mind if I do this, do you mind if I do that? And it's just lovely to have neighbours who work with you, not against you. 
And MJ is going to build up a bit, I think. He said that he would like to build up so that this becomes a peninsula. Now, I don't know what level he's going to build, but he's a very considerate neighbour. And I know he's not going to come this way, are you, MJ? He'll go the other way or he'll just build that bit out and he'll have a bridge across there. But I think being linked to the land will make life a lot easier for him. He's got his own nether portal up now, which is good. So guys, oh, oh, right. I am going to say goodbye as I race off to try and get some seed in time to tame a parrot. The other thing I would say before I go is this bay just attracts the fish. So many fish. It'd be a wonderful place for an aquarium if I changed the bottom to sand and grew some coral and some lights there. I think it would look fantastic. So I might do a bit of landscaping there. So as the sun sets, we say bye bye, leave a like.